this is Bakanga Mazabeng, vocalist, composer, and host of her own skin series. You are listening to The K Jazz Show with Mwako T Malakalaka, Sundays, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on your favorite urban radio station, Kofifi FM 97.2, where we all begin. Our guest this Sunday was born in Tokyo, Japan, raised musically in New York, and she is a pianist and composer. Yayoi Ikawa is an experience in ingenuity and compassion in using music as a powerful communicational tool. She strives to lift up humanity through understanding and encouraging herself and others. Was recently in South Africa as a headliner for the inaugural Kaiser and Jazz Festival earlier this year and now she makes her return for a multi-stop tour this august as we commemorate women's month and their contribution to the arts particularly jazz music and joins us this afternoon from new york city coffee fm please help me welcome yayoi ikawa good afternoon everybody and good afternoon to you Mwako. and i'm so so happy to be here Thank, Thank you, you so much coming. for joining us. It is indeed our pleasure. Now, you and I, you know, chat today ahead of an exciting South African multi-stop tour. But before we get into all of that, let us uh-huh. formally introduce you to your audience. Who is Yayoi? And when did you fall in love with jazz? Well, um, I am um, born and raised in um, Japan and never heard the jazz. Um, I played piano since I was three, so it's quite early. Uh, classical, but not like crazy conservatory um, uh, intense training. It's just, you know, like enjoying music, daily life. And it was when I was 15, uh, when I was an exchange student in the United States, that uh, uh, my first family played jazz and we didn't really couldn't speak, you know, English to each other because my understanding was not there. Mm. But could play music and uh, I could communicate perfect and music and that was my my jazz encounter. Yeah, I love that, love that. And you moved to New York City, you know, to study jazz with other celebrated women such as Miss Jerry Allen and also oh. got to work alongside the likes of Buster Williams, Billy Hart, Leanne Ledgerwood and bassist Reggie Workman. Let's reflect, you know, on that time and how it shaped your career as a pianist in jazz. It was uh, one of my best decisions to move to New York while I was still um, new to jazz. Um, because um, here, like I was raised by so many legends, including those uh, fantastic um, uh, musicians and artists. And uh, they just took me under their wing. And, you know, like as long as I have passion and diligence to be in the tribe of jazz, you know, it really doesn't matter uh, the color of my skin, um, gender. Yeah. Um, of course, you know, those, um, I consider it as an energy. Of course, there was a barrier to break through. But each time I do that, it created the special energy that's opened another door. So rather than disadvantage, I considered everything to be blessing and it was all planned um, for me. So I'm grateful. You know, we, we navigate, you know, or we speak about how you navigate that later, especially the barriers. But I want to talk about the conversation in South Africa right now, which is commemorating women of all colors, you know, and industries for their contribution. And you are one of the women whom we are celebrating for today, you know, for your contribution to jazz music. I want to engage with you on your experience working in the inverted commas, male-dominated scene and how you've managed to navigate that. Yes, um, it's all about supporting individual as a human being. Um, you know, like we all go through um, struggle in social level, um, gender level, and personal level. Um, that's for everybody. And especially like we have um, something in common so much as a woman, um, the past we have to go through. So um, just listen to other women. And uh, it's just you know, like so many women uh, inspired me. And without their sacrifice and contribution, I wouldn't be in where I am right now. I wouldn't be in New York. I wouldn't be playing jazz. So, you know, like just commemorating those women who walked before me yeah. and try to add the tiny baby step to that. I'm committed to like just tiny baby step to um, pass it on to next generation. 
that's all I'm doing. And um, there are so many women who's doing the same. And I'm here to like really shed spotlight on them as well. Thank、you
There we go. Of course, uh, we're Uh-oh. spending time with Coffee FM with Yayo Igawa here on the KJS show, and uh, she's talking about the multi-stop tour in August that she's going to be coming on to here in South Africa, and she's going to be sharing stages, you know, with multi-talented artists, which we're going to talk about a bit later. But your project, Color of Dreams, is out, you know, and we've been sharing some of those compositions of that project. Let's talk about the creative process, you know, of the sophomore, sophomore offering, and some of the talents that you have worked alongside to realize you know, the vision for this album? Yes. Uh, so this album is um, my um, display of my daily big stripped down emotions. So that's why it, it um, I'm offering to share, um, to experience together, like, you know, so many songs uh, about joy, about the sorrow, about the determination, you know, like it's all um, the experience from the daily life. Yeah. Um, rather than social connotation, it's more like personal level, personal daily level of um, basic feelings that can be shared by just anybody. Um, so, you know, like, it's like diary, you know, like, um, like for example, Color of Dreams. Love that. Um, I um, dreamed about um, somewhere in the world that I've never been that I would differently go you know, kept dreaming about that place. I was like, where is that? Where is that? And then, like, I finally um, got to Haiti, the country Haiti. Mm -hmm. And um, I ended up spending so much time there. I um, worked with a Haitian um, singer legend. Her name is Emily Michelle. And through her, through touring with her, I made so many friends. Uh, I started to collaborating with other artists as well. And I just knew that, oh, that was Haiti. So now when I play the song, I know that I am connecting with that region, um, the, the love I have between people. So yeah. just that, yeah. Yeah, we love it. We love it. Of course, this is the K Jazz Show. You listen to Coffee Fia FM every single Sunday here on Coffee Fia FM 97. But it's page three, and we're spending time with Yayo Ikawa. I had her multi stop tour here in uh, Johannesburg in KZN, including Cape Town. Of course, that is another exciting conversation that you and I are having. What can we expect, you know, on this tour? And who are you coming? Who are you performing with? Yes, uh, I am coming with my longtime collaborator. Um, bassist Jimmy Mungwandi. Um, he is actually, um, I met him in New York side and, uh, he's the one who introduced me to, uh, South African music. We, we toured in, um, um, Midwest and, uh, Northeast. And, um, so through, through him, I met, uh, trumpet Lesedi. Oh, I forgot um, his last name, <laughs> but um, but dear friends, uh, and uh, so I'm I'm grateful to you know continue our collaboration. And uh, on the drum, uh, we have a great uh, drama that I feel in love with his playing right away. His name is Lelo Mujib uh, Mujibu. Mujibuka. Yes, I'm <laughs> learning. <laughs> yes, so um, it will be my um, first time uh, yeah. playing. Him, but um, but I am now familiar with his um, musicianship and his uh, composition as artist. Um, it's it's great. So on the stage, 
there's going to be lots of chemistry, um, curiosity, um, as we, um, you know, like we create um, energy on the stage with all those like different background bringing in. It's like a big picnic. Everybody yeah. brings their dish, <laughs> you know. So um, you will see lots of like um, like spices mixed in, you know, the special ingredients. And that energy will be shared with audience, I believe, Um because you guys are beautiful audience, you know, you just feel it. And uh, I love playing for South African audience.
love to see it. We love to have you, you know, and still on the tour, you know, uh, you're also featuring pianist Tandin Tuli in conversation about a number of iterations. You know, what else, what are some of the key things, you know, during these sessions that you want to highlight? Yes. Uh, so it's, uh, it's about encounter. So um, meeting with uh, new people and uh, let's see what happens if we play together. You know, me being in uh, New York, um, I collaborate with so many people. And one thing I learned is um, as long as I, I'm open, um, we can collaborate with just about anybody and um, bring best of each other. Yeah. So that's one of the highlights, including the audience. You know, like I'm open to the energy of all, uh, uh, audience and um, willing to improvise, you know, the set and, you know, like conversation. Everything is like open. And, you know, like I invite um, the musician and audience to participate in our experience we create together. Yeah, and we look forward to seeing that and being part of the bigger conversations as two amazing pianists in one room sharing that one space, you know, and, and telling the story of the piano through their ears and through their fingers, as it were. You know, we look forward to all of that. And let's talk dates, you know, let's talk venues. Where do we go? What are the dates, Yayo? Yes, uh, so we kick off with um, um, the conversation with Miss Tandy um, on um, 23rd at Doppio and... Um, and uh, Rosebank. Yes. I picked through when I was there last month. Beautiful room, intimate. Um, and then from there, 24th, um, I'm going to go to Pretoria. I've been to Pretoria. And um, I loved uh, there was a jazz, com- strong jazz community. Um, and um, so we had a workshop together uh, led by a female bassist. Um, uh, her name is Anna uh, Subonji um, is her name. And uh, so I'm so looking forward to meeting with the community again, uh, yeah. as um, as well as new audience. And from there, we go to, um, oh, Untitled Basement the next day. So that will be 25th. Um, I haven't been, but um, that's going to be uh, the center of Johannesburg, I understand a beautiful and, venue as well, by the way. Oh, wow. I'm yeah. so look forward to it. Yeah. So there we'll have surprise guests, I think. Okay. Okay. We look forward to that too. Surprise <laughs> yeah. guests, of course. So you heard it from Yayoi herself, Kofi FM. Surprise guests. She's going to be on that three dates in Johannesburg. Of course, she's going to also go to the UK Jazz Center. That's on the 26th. St. Michael's She's at the tw- on the 27th. And that's all in case. And then she wraps it up in Cape Town at the Blue Room. That's on the 30th of August. Get your tickets through the venue outlets and at the door. Of course, for more information, head to our social media pages at the KJS Show and find the plug for your nearest venue. Once again, Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And we look forward to seeing you in Johannesburg. And of course, this is not the only visit, I assume. And I I, I promise that you you will be back once again after the tour. I, I have your word. <laughs> you know, like I, I'm so happy to <laughs> talk with you. Thank you so much for having me. Have a fantastic Sunday. Her name is Yayo Ikawa. She is a pianist and composer, and she is coming to South Africa in August in commemoration and celebration for Women's Month. And she was here talking about it here first on the K Jazz Show.